The Jaguar F-Type has been with us for seven years now, so an itch somewhere in a design department dictates that it must be time for an update. And this is it, the new Jaguar F-Type. Alright, I think it's fair to say that this is more of an extensive update than a wholly new model, but evolution rather than revolution has worked for the boys and girls over in Stuttgart for some time, so why not in Coventry? This Velocity Blue car is the top of the range R spec, with a 5 litre supercharged V8 putting out 567 brake horsepower and 516 pounds foot of torque through all four wheels. That's a modest 25 brake horsepower and 15 pounds foot up on the old R, but it brings it up to the level of the old SVR. The all wheel drive system means that it will accelerate from 0 to 60 miles an hour in 3.5 seconds, while the top speed has been capped at 186 miles an hour. I'll sprinkle a few more engineering details through the rest of the film, but for now, here's Jaguar's creative director of exterior design, Adam Hatton, to start talking us through the F-Type's fresh face. Let's start with the front as we're here, and because it's probably the bit of the car that's changed, changed the most, it's sort of the biggest, biggest different look, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. We really wanted to go to town on the front end of the car to really create um, a different look on, on this latest F-Type. Um, the main thing we've done is obviously we've changed uh, the whole graphics of the front end of the car. So the lamps using the very latest technology are super slim, um, go right out to the wheel arches. So they show off that, that wide stance. Um, obviously, you know, F-Type was a really good starting point for any car because the proportions and the stance are, are excellent already. But um, yeah, we really wanted to exaggerate those elements uh, make it look even sportier, but also dial up the kind of luxury side of, of, of the brand. Um, because Jaguar, we feel, has this unique balance of sports and luxury. Um, and the, the headlamps kind of work towards that. So wider, um, sporty, sportier stance. The main grille is, uh, is wider and deeper for that presence on the road. Obviously, um, the car needs to take a lot of air in. It's a high-performance car. Um, so we've got this beautiful Jaguar shape. Every line at Jaguar likes to be uh, really spontaneous, as if you've just done it with a one a pen line or a brush line. Um, and then we go to town on the detailing inside. So it's in the headlamps and in the grill uh, detailing. Um, we've probably put the most effort into this than, than any car that we have so far. Working down the front face of the car, then you have this, again, really wide graphics um, to show off that width. Um, the whole front end and the whole car is obviously designed with the aerodynamics team right from day one. So we work very, very closely because it's a high performance car. It has to have great high speed stability, but also be very efficient as well. So all the shapes are worked together with aerodynamics, just as all the great Jaguars were in the past. Mm -hmm. So there's a lovely story to that as well. Um, you have the lower splitter as well, which uh, again helps plant the car down on the road at high speed. And then just to mention the detail a little bit in the lamps. Because mm. those lamps um, before, they sort of, they were, for people that don't remember, sort of further up over the sort of the bottom. Yeah, they the were, they, went, here, they so. went further up the fender. Um, what we've done, so we've got the horizontal slim lamps We've got the Jaguar J blade, uh, hockey like stick. hockey stick, yeah. <laughs> like hockey stick, bit of Britishness, so the hockey stick um, sort of um, uh, J graphic, um, which again gives a great brand identity on the road. And then within uh, the lamps, we have the very latest technology. But the thing I wanted to point out to you is the, the detailing that we've got on here. We've got our luxury monogram detailing mm -hmm. on the top of the, the J blade lamp. Um, now that's derived from the, the old Jaguar Heritage logo right. and we see Jaguar as being, you know, not just a car company, we see it as being a luxury brand and when you look at the, the world of luxury fashion and um, design you see that a lot, of, a lot of brands do have their monogram pattern and we, we have ours now so I'm really, I'm really pleased about that and you'll see that repeated on the car and in the interior as well but always in a, an elegant, subtle Jaguar way. Absolutely. And these are LED? Lights, is that right? They've yes, so to... these are these are full um, full LED lights, very latest technology. Um, depending on the market, they have different technology within there, but all all with these uh, four blocks of ice, as we call them. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, and, and as I said, you know, we're really pleased that we were able to to get these lamps as, as slim as as slim as we possibly could. I think there's probably some of the the slimmest lamps out uh, will be out on the road. Um, and it just uh, you know says to the customer the technology of the car. It shows off the technology yeah. of the car. Then importantly, with these lamps, what it also does it accentuates the length of the bonnet. Yes. So obviously Jaguar has been famous for sports cars in the past, like the E-Type, which has the long bonnet <laughs> and the cabin towards the rear. And the F-Type does this, the same thing, but in a very modern way. So you see the beautiful uh, long bonnet lines. Um, what we've also done on this uh, bonnet is we've, we've kind of got this uh, design language that I kind of tend to say is like liquid surfacing or liquid metal. So you can see how the light reflects uh, all over the bonnet here. There's not many lines on there. The only lines there are for a purpose. So you've got the power bulge yeah, so that's lines. Yes, much more accentuated now. And again, it? it's got a bit of E-type. That's a bit of E-type. And yeah. yeah, again, again, shows off the length of the bonnet. And then you have the fender line um, running down there. But in between those lines, you just have beautiful, uh, pure flowing surfaces. And the F-Type is really shrink-wrapped around the mechanicals and around the people. Um, so you get that really lovely, taut, tight um, uh, design to the, to the vehicle. Um, but you can see how, how we've worked every part of a millimetre to create those beautiful shapes that uh, Jaguar is famous for. Yeah, absolutely. It's worth saying that this is obviously the, the R here, isn't it? We've got the hexagonal. Yeah, this is the, this is the R version. Yeah, this is the R version of the car and there's different versions of the car. This is showing off the top, the top of the range. So there's the R detailing of the badging and obviously the, the hexagonal uh, grille pattern there, which uh, again is all um, form follows function. The car takes a lot of air in, but you know, we've designed it again in a very unique way. And what we what we also do with this is when we have when we have a pattern or a design, we repeat it through the car, such as on the, yeah, the air it. vents on the on the bonnet and on the side vent, just so you get that um, lovely design cohesion. Yeah, absolutely. Should we move down the side of the car a bit? We've got yep. a new design of wheel for Yes, so we've got um, two new wheel designs. Um, really, really pleased with these wheels. These are, again, playing on the, on the sporting luxury uh, side of the brand. So it's more of a kind of multi-spoke. And they're in gloss black with the diamond turn pattern. And at Jaguar Design, we always like to have the balance of the, the beautiful smooth surfaces, but some lovely technical detailing. And we feel that that's a lovely combination and something that's kind of unique to Jaguar. Yeah. Behind those new wheels, you can now have optional carbon ceramic matrix brakes, which save 21 kilos in unsprung mass. In terms of suspension, Jaguar says that the springs and anti-roll bars are all new, while the valves inside the continuously variable dampers have been recalibrated. There are larger wheel bearings and revised upper ball joints at the rear. The rear knuckles are now aluminium die castings as well, which apparently increases camber stiffness by 37% and toe stiffness by 41%, resulting in a more precisely controlled tyre contact patch. This, along with a revised e-pass system, should give a more connected feel for the person doing the steering. Anyway, back to Adam. I love the Leaper. I've always loved the Leaper as, a, as, a, as, a, as an emblem and as a, um, just a beautiful piece of sculpture in its own right. Um, and again, it's all about kind of pairing things back and simplifying everything and kind of purity. So we just wanted a very lovely, simple um, air outlet, again with that repeated air vent pattern. But then instead of having the Jaguar written across there, we just have that lovely bit of detailing of the Leaper. So we've obviously got the, the beautiful uh, profile of the roof line with the, with the all glass roof, the panoramic glass roof. And can you have that in body color and? You can, yeah, depending on the market and depending on the spec of the car, yeah, it can be, can be in the body color or can be the full glass. Absolutely. Um, we've got the rear haunch, obviously, which is just beautiful and powerful, so we haven't changed that. Um, 20 inch wheels, as we said. Yep, absolutely. And then if we move around to the back here, yep. you've got the black leaper up there as part of the black badge and then these new rear lights as well, quad, quad exhaust obviously for the R. Absolutely, yeah. So as you said, yeah, black, black pack, uh, black badging, which looks super cool. Then we have working down from there, we've got the lovely uh, slim rear lamps. Um, and what we've done on the design of these is we've created a new signature for the Jaguar brand. 
and we've got what we call the chicane signature lamp okay mm -hmm. so a lovely little um reference to the racing heritage of jaguar with the chicane line because and this you, was this is round before wasn't it sort of it, was, it was it was it was a round or with a line which was kind of came from the e-type um but yeah we just think this kind of modernizes the whole rear of the car and it goes really nicely with the front lamps um also, you can see we have these lovely 3D elements, again, with the uh, Jaguar monogram detailing oh, yes, on the yeah. top, which is, which is just a lovely, a lovely touch, we feel. Um, new rear bumper. Um, we've changed the shape of the number plate aperture, so the lines actually come outwards, so they basically, sh uh, again, accentuate the stance of the car, because from the rear, you just want to make the car look like it's really planted and purposeful. Um, and then working down from there, Again, depending on what spec, obviously this is an R. Um, and even the R goes black, as you, as you see, which is really, really nice. Um, we have a rear Venturi. This car obviously has the, the quad pipes um, with a V8. Um, and again, the whole lower rear is designed with the aerodynamics team. Um, and as I said, we're, we're working with them every day and there's hundreds and hundreds of hours of testing in the wind tunnel and on the computers to make sure that um, this is actually absolutely perfect for, for this car. While this R model sits at the top of the F-type tree, the position nearer the roots is filled by a 296 brake horsepower, 295 pound foot turbocharged four cylinder model, capable of 0 to 60 miles an hour in 5.4 seconds and a top speed of 155 miles an hour. In the middle of the range, your options depend on where you live. In North America, the offering is a 3-litre supercharged V6, putting out 375 brake horsepower and 339 pounds foot. Meanwhile, in Europe, the middle rung on the ladder is occupied by a 444 brake horsepower, 428 pound foot version of the R's supercharged V8. This is available in all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive, which could prove amusing. So there we are. This new F-Type is a car that has undergone tweaking, refining and upgrading rather than receiving a wholesale clean sheet reimagining. But then perhaps a car with such a classic compact front engine sports car design mated to a thunderous supercharged V8 is all the better for not being meddled and messed with. Such lights in the hall Sirens sang their warning